Hello, just a quick intro. My name is Matt Maxfield. I'm a gemstone faceter here in Utah. I've been fasting for about three years and I'll be sharing with you some of the stones that I am cutting and posting them here on YouTube. Uh, so today for the first video, I'll be taking you through cutting an Oregon sunstone. Uh, this piece is one that I just picked up uh, in Tucson this year. Uh, it's a little piece, started out just over six carats. So hopefully I could keep it about one carat. Uh, the black lines that you see here on it are marks for orienting the orange color in it. As I rotate it, you might see it has a little bit of shiller. And the cut I'm going to be doing on it today is Gnome's Geode by Arya Akavan. So it's a little blocky, so I think I will start with a heavier grit, just to knock off a little bit of material, and then I'll switch to a 600 to do the main cutting. All right, yeah, that's fairly close now. You're actually able to see the red spot in there a little better. So I'm going to switch now to a 600 grit to do all the main cutting. Now what I'm hoping with where I've preformed it and centered around this red spot, but after I finish cutting in this design that the stone will come out looking more red instead of blending the yellow. Alright, so now we have our 600 grit on and we'll use that now and we'll go through and facet in all the main pavilion facets and the girdle. When it comes to cutting, cut a little, look a lot. Um, especially when you're following these meat point fasting diagrams. Um, everything later on in the cutting of the stone depends on the meat points um, ahead of it, especially the ones with the center point. Because um, if you're off, the rest of your stone outline can end up off later on. And it's really easy if you're just grinding the way to pass up or miss your meat. So you cut them in nice and slow, keep looking at it until you get it right where you want it. And what I'm using is I'm using a 40 times loop actually while I'm cutting. So I just hold it up close to the stone and I'll use that to check my meat points as I'm cutting it in to make sure that it's cutting in where I want it. Okay, now I got all of the P2 facets cut in. I'm going to go ahead and switch the angle now to 90 degrees and bring it down for cutting the girdle. And I can check and see. About six and a half millimeters on his width. It's coming in right around the reddish orange spot I like. I really like the shiller I'm seeing in it from the side. From directly on when the stone's finished, I hope to not see too much. Just as you rotate it, you should be able to see some of the shiller. Um, it should be a pretty stone finished. We'll keep going. And so now I have all the facets cut in on the pavilion. So now I'll switch out to a 3000 grit on a bat lap and I will pre-polish in all the facets before I go to a final polish. And so here's my bat lap I'm using. It just has a little bit of a 3000 uh, paste on it and that's what I use for pre-polish. Just give it a quick look to make sure that they all look like they've pre-polished evenly, got rid of all of the pitting. That way I can easily go through and get a nice final polish on after I get through all the pre-polish. So, and it's looking good. And with that, the stone is pre-polished with the 3000 grit now. And so now moving on to the final polish. So I'm going to go in and finish doing all the facets. Now with the 50,000, I'll show it to you when it's done. So let's take a look at this. Now the polish is looking really good. Not seeing any anything major I need to touch up. Not even really seeing any fine scratching, which is a good sign. It polished really nicely. All right, so here's the sunstone so far, six and a half millimeters. The cutting is going really smooth. As I rotate it, you can see the color of the sunstone. It's going to have some nice orange 
and as you rotate it you can see the shiller shining at certain points along there it's I think it's gonna be a pretty fun piece this cut I've liked doing it I've done it before so now I'm gonna put this piece in the transfer block so that I could get it transferred and then tomorrow I'll cut the crown or the top of the stone to finish it off and see how it looks Here it is, transferred up. I'll need to let the glue dry until tomorrow. Then it'll be ready for finishing up. So can't wait to get it done and see how it turns out. I'm actually pretty excited. I like the color that it's coming out so far. I like the shaler in it. I think it's gonna be a real pretty piece. Okay, so now it's the next day and we have the Oregon Sunstone here and it's been transferred. Now I need to remove the previous dop stick. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to wet a couple pieces of paper towel, wrap them around the stone and the new dop stick to keep them cool while I heat off uh, this other side over a flame. So I'm going to go ahead and heat this to the side of the previous dop stick and let it come off. All right, there we go. You can see it's ready for cutting the crown. And then after that, the stone will be finished. For this, I'll be using just a worn 600 grit topper lap. And I'll do all the main cutting of the crown facets with it. And on this Gnome's Geo design, there's only 12 facets on the crown and the table, so cutting should go pretty quick. Alright, with that I got all the facets cut in. So now I'll switch over and get them pre-polished. Already we got the uh, pre-polished stone on the crown. I could see some of the shiller in the stone. I'm really liking it so far. I think a little bit of it will show from the front as you're looking at it, but I think it's going to be a real fun stone. So I'm going to go ahead and do the final polish on the crown, and then I'll go back in and cut the table and run through all the steps again, cutting pre-polished polish on it last. Almost there. All right, like that, the polish is done. Really liking the color on this so far. It is turning out really nice. So now I gotta go in and just cut in the table. And that'll be pretty easy on this because the table's just floated in, meaning I don't have to take it in and hit any meat points. So, I mean, with that, there's no actual exact spot it's gotta be besides cut it till it looks about right compared to the diagram we're using. And I'm actually going to take the stone out because I got to put it into this adapter for doing the table. It's got a little bubble to make sure I'm getting it level. And then beyond that, just look as you're cutting, make sure the table looks like it's cutting in level. Cut a little bit, see where it's going, cut it in until it's about where you want it because the pre polish will take it in just a little bit further. And the final polish doesn't really take off very much material, so basically get it where you want it with the uh, pre-polish. Right, I think about right there will be good. that the pre-polish is done on the table now just the final polish to go and the final polish and like that it's already done I mean uh, with the hardness of 
uh, sunstone. Uh, the pre-polish and polish can go pretty quick. It looks like all together cutting the crown side of the stone took about 35 minutes. So that's fairly quick. I mean, it helps that there was only 12 facets on the crown. So you don't spend a lot of time switching between facets and having to uh, cut, pre-polish and polish a, a lot more facets than what are on the stone. So you're not going to see it real well yet. I'll have to get a close-up uh, when it's done. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to throw it in my jar of acetone and let it soak off because acetone will dissolve the super glue which is adhering the stone to this dop stick. Um, and then once it's done I could take it out and see how it looks finished. Yeah, I think it's going to be really nice. I'm really liking the way it looks so far. It's got a nice orange color, some beautiful shiller in the piece. The polish turned out great. So I think it's going to be a fine piece. Okay, so the stone has had plenty of time to soak off the acetone, so we're going to take it off now and wipe off any residues and take a look at it. Grab in there. Yeah, I really like this stone. It has a good mix of Schiller and color. All right, so the finished piece measures six and a half millimeters and its carat weight is 1.15 carats, so not too bad. I mean, that's probably right down there close to the 20% weight retention is all, but to get in around and get the better orange instead of leaving so much yellow in the stone, not, not too bad. I'm happy with it.